the zinc is being That looks oxidized. like oxidation to me. So this is called the anode, anode. and this is called there the cathode. cathode. By the way, the anode has a negative sign, so if we had a battery, and the cathode is positive, because cats are good. Or that's how you can know that cats have a cation. I like cats. Yeah, I don't, actually, but <laughs> that's on another story. They You're a dog person. Itch. Oh, yeah, that's right. Have mercy. Now, we still haven't completely labeled this. There's still more to do. Salt bridge. What about the salt bridge? It needs a name. All right, so let's label salt bridge. Now... Since we're actually using the electricity, the electrons have to be traveling through the wire. Who, where, what is the direction they of the They go from the anode to the cathode. Gosh, I can't talk to you. The athode? They from the anode to the cathode. He can't talk. The man has bad ah, accent. He must learn to speak exactly. English. Exactly. Oh, my and gosh. It make, if it may, and it makes sense. If you look at the equation down there, we're producing electrons in the anodes. Right. So then they're going to go to the cathode that where we're getting the you electrons. See, yeah, the electrons leave the zinc cell, and the copper wants them. Mm -hmm. But, of course, we have a problem. As the electrons flow into here, it's yeah. going to cause the charge of this side to become more negative. negative. And so to counteract that... What's going to happen is through the salt bridge, you must have negative things flow mm -hmm. this way. So these will call, be called the anions in the salt bridge. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say the salt bridge, typically we'll put like sodium nitrate in there. Yeah, so in this case, the nitrate ions would flow through here, actually through here yeah. to there. And then conversely, actually, your cat so, ions yeah, sodiums are going to come that way. Are going to come this way because it equalizes the charge. So you can see this is a very, very busy picture. What are the kinds of typical things you're going to be asked to solve for? Okay, the kind of things they're going to ask for is direction of electron. Yeah. The little bit of the direction of electron flow. Now I can't talk. D i r e c t s direction of flow of of electrons. Also direction of electrons. Direction of flow of uh, cations or the, anions. Or anions through the salt bridge. Or which side is the anode, which side is the cathode, things like that. So there are lots of questions that you'll be asked on uh, tests, on the AP tests, whatever. They love to ask questions like that. It's just common. Mm -hmm. All right, the table. All right. Now, how do we actually use this, this, this big fancy table that we looked at? All right, the table above, the one that's in your, in your handout, assumes that you have a... One molar solution. So when we said it was one volt, that assumes that it's a one molar solution. So I guess my uh, little soda pop battery here probably didn't actually produce And also that. one ATM and... Uh, 25 degrees Celsius. 25 Celsius. So we're really not at these conditions. Nope. But that's what the table assumes. Later on, in a subsequent podcast, we'll learn what to do with when we have, you know, different molarities and yep. different temperatures and such. Okay. So now, let's just use our table. A little practice. You'll find that the table is very, very, very important mm -hmm. in your glacé. Okay. So the first one, we have Na is going to Na positive. Yep. Plus one electron. Now, what I basically want to do is I want to go to the table. Yep. If I go to the table, I can find out what the sodium... To, um, it's in the word. It's in the second there word. All right. So we need to find sodium. Sodium. There it is. And look at the voltage. Now it's 2.71 negative. negative. And that's for the plus ion to go to the metal. So this one is flipped, so it's going to be positive, positive 2.71. You guys see what I did now? Look at your table. If you don't have your table out uh, on your packet, this is going to make sense. That's in voltages. We haven't learned what volts are. We'll learn later. And the PBO2 is going to PB plus 2. Now, we don't have the whole reaction, but guess what? Instead of me trying to sit here and balance that equation... Let's just go find it. Let's just go find the reaction. PB... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mr. Sams, is this it I right I got here? it, right there, yep. And there's the reaction. The voltage is... Negative. Is it written the correct five, direction? It is. That's the way we're going. So it's oh, negative. wait, you know what? That's not right. We want PBO2. That says PBO. Oh, uh -oh. my, oh, Mr. Sands. Almost. Should we take a moment and try and Let's find, find another PBO2? One. Mm. I'd be PBSO4 over here. No, that's nope, not that's it. that's not it. We'll find it. Okay, we find, find, find. No. You know, of course, we're using a table that may not be from the old Yeah, podcast. I think this came from Wikipedia. It did. We're trying to uh, save. There's a PB one, but that's not the right one. Where's PBO2? Yeah. Hmm. We'll oh, wait, it. is that it? What's that alpha? I don't know why we have alpha. And there's a beta right above it. It's but they're both close enough. One, 1. We'll call 1. it 1.5. 1.5. <laughs> All right, there it is. We find. 
All right, so it's one and a half, and it's, and it's already written, and this is uh, 1.5 volts. Okay, so what's the total voltage? Well, we want it to add up to positive. You know, we does. should probably write the whole reaction. Yeah. So let's do, um, it makes plus 4H positive, all right. Yep. So I'm just copying it from the other table. Plus two plus electrons. Plus two electrons. So I'm not, so I'm just uh, flipping back and forth. Makes plus two waters on this yep. side. Now, when we add these, though, so we have to multiply this by two. So the overall reaction, right, would uh -huh. be um, 4H positive. We'll have to double the top one. Plus the PBO2 plus 2Na makes 2Na positive plus PB2 positive plus two waters. Yep. So I have this two here. Yeah. Do I have to do anything with that? Um, well, we distributed it through the uh, equation, but do not confuse this with uh, your thermodynamic stuff. Yeah, okay. folks, this is a common mistake. If right. This two, oftentimes we think we need to like multiply this by two. You do not do that no, in electrochem. No, no, no. You just add them. Yep, just so, add them up. And I get 4.3 volts. This will make a pretty strong battery. Yeah. 4.3 volt battery. That's a lead battery. That's what they put in cars. And there you go. That's probably why. All right. And uh, then let's do this one. So I have Fe plus 3 goes to Fe plus 2. We probably don't need to look this one up in terms yeah. of... Uh, Balancing. Yeah, so we can balance it. So let's go that one. back to our. Yep. Now be careful table. when you look these ones up that have multiple oxidation states. Make sure you get the correct one. Yeah, because Fe2 to Fe3. Yep. Um, we're looking, we're looking. Okay, see, this is not it. This is Fe2 plus becoming Fe metal. So that's not it. We've got to find the one that has the actual numbers yeah, of other We don't for. like that one. So yes, Mr. Sam's found an Fe2, but it's not Fe2 to Fe3. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't see any FEs. It's going to be nope, on the busy page. It's going page. to be in the big mess one. Oh, there it is right there. Mr. Sams has got better eyes than me. And I just had my eyes dilated. I, I must be getting my vision back. Uh, <laughs> point 0.7. Now, it's, to go to FE2 is point yep. 0.7. Positive point seven. Seven, 7. I think that's what we have. Yep. So this is positive point 0.77 seven volts. There it is. And then we go to MG to MG2 positive plus two electrons. And if you don't like that table, guys, there is a table in your book yeah. that you can also use. Right. So Mg to Mg2 positive is mm. going to be at the top of the list, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, First okay, page. I remember seeing it too. There it is. So it's going to be negative 2 point. But it's flipped. Yep. So, so it's 2.4. 2.4, but it's going to be positive because it's in the reverse. Yeah, because it was negative and I flipped it, right? right. And so the total voltage would be uh, 3.17. 3 and the overall reaction, you would have to double this. Yep. And it would be 2. But that still doesn't change F the voltage. does not change the voltage, plus the magnesium makes the magnesium 2 positive, plus the Fe 2 positive. So if you were to separate these in a cell, put a salt bridge between them, and put a voltmeter between them, you would have a voltmeter that would read three volts. Now, you, you've got nine volt batteries, though. How's mm -hmm. that possible, actually? If you thought, what would be the best battery that you could possibly make with this table, if you think about it? Yeah, well, we'd want to take... You would take the lithium. That'd yep. be three volts. With the cesium. And with the one at the bottom end... Uh, the most positive, yeah. Well, but we're going to have to flip one of them. Well, yeah, just take the, the most negative and the most positive, and then you'd get about six volts. Okay. Because this is three volts yep. positive, and if you flip this top one, oh, yeah. I see you you'd get okay. another three yep. volts, so about six. But I've heard of nine volt and 12 volt yeah. batteries. How's that work? Oh, they just take smaller cells, they hook them up in series. Yeah, they actually hook them together. So if you have a three volt battery hooked with another three volt battery with another three volt battery, well, then, then you, you, have, you, a nine then you have a nine volt battery. So it's actually very, very uncommon to have a cell, a galvanic cell, with more than a couple of volts. Yep. So this would actually be a huge, a relatively large one that we have right here. Yeah. With three and your nine cells. volts actually have six one and a half ers in them. Yeah, they actually have several cells. All right. Now, we've a couple more examples here. Now, um, can this happen? Now, when you're doing these problems, as, as, as you watch the Answer Podcast, the key thing on these, you know, is such and such capable of reducing such and such, is you're trying to get a positive voltage. Yep. If you get a positive voltage, it's a spontaneous reaction. And it happens. If you don't, you don't. You don't. So now we do hydrogen. Hydrogen, and Mr. Sam's alluded to this a little bit before, mm -hmm. but hydrogen is an interesting uh, part of the electrode. I don't, have to, I don't have to look this one up. I know it off the top of my head, but here it is right here, and it's bolded on your, on your paper. But the hydrogen electrode is zero volts. It is sort of the standard. Uh, yes. It's upon which everything is measured. So basically, you're going to have the hydrogen. This is zero volts. So if I want to reduce the silver, that means I'm taking the silver. To reduce it, you're taking it down to 
a lower charge, and the only lower charge you've ever heard of is zero. So I'm looking for, on the table, I'm going to look for AG to AG zero and find out what its voltage is. Yep. And I think it's up high. No, it's uh, down lower. Because I think I, it's yeah, positive. I know this right. right. Here's an AG. It's not the one I want. Nope. Mm -hmm. Oh, right down. Oh. Isn't it? You're right. Yep, you're right. It's about 0.8 volts. Yep, 0.8 positive volts. So it's point, uh, point 0.8 volts. So if it's 0.8 volts, that's is that positive, positive? That's spontaneous. Bingo. It's Done. Gonna, it's going to happen. So that's how we can know that. Just looking for positive voltage. Let's do one more. 